I'm Katie Pavlich of townhall.com and I'm here with Sala Nuzis and he just ran for RNC chairman and he was also is the former RNC chairman of Michigan, correct? Right. Yep, and he is a son of immigrants. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? I think that's a really awesome part about this man. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I think it's important in the sense if you take a look at our coalition in particular, I think a lot of people came over from Eastern Europe to join mm -hmm. this country and my, my family immigrated from Lithuania. Uh, my brother and I were born here, my oldest sister was born in Lithuania, my other mm -hmm. sister in Germany during the war. And I didn't learn to speak English when I was seven years old. So, right. you know, when you take a look at an immigrant's uh, kind of, you know, coming into this country and taking advantage of the American dream, I mean, our family kind of epitomizes that. Right. Yeah, I have family in uh, Croatia, okay. so they Great. threw off the shackles of communism there you go. a couple years ago. So I definitely understand that aspect of it. So you've been at CPAC, you were at the dinner the other night. Right. What's the message you think after this long weekend going forward? Well, you know, I've been coming to CPAC since, to age myself, 1979 was my first time while I was still in college. Mm -hmm. And I think to me, it's a great way to rejuvenate your juices, so to speak, coming out of here. Uh, people are excited. This is the largest, obviously, we've ever had. Right. Um, I think that the fact that so many people get to network, talk to one another, talk about what's happening in the movement, you know, meet new friends, see old friends, get reacquainted, um, mm -hmm. pick up new projects, and, and so many things get kicked off at CPAC. Whether it's presidential campaigns, whether it's new projects done by foundations, third party groups, etc. Yeah. So, definitely a lot of news being made, definitely a lot of activity taking place, and definitely. Uh, I think a lot of synergy coming together to move forward on whatever the issues may be that people care about. CPAC is a big gathering of young people. How do you think the RNC can reach out to young people? Because I always feel like they tote the line of this isn't going to affect our, right. our kids and our grandkids, but they don't really get, do a good job in the end of getting those people out to vote for the GOP. Well, it's hard. I mean, I think in the end, our candidates will get people out to vote. Whether mm -hmm. it's the, I mean, if you take a look at Ronald Reagan, right. in 1980, he appealed to the younger generation, even though he was the oldest person ever to run for president. <laughs> you know, he, yeah. made a, he made a very different appeal and approached it in a different way. And I, I think that's really what's incumbent upon our candidates to do. The party really kind of performs a structural uh, obligation. It's a statutory group that has to make sure, you know, we have our conventions, we do our caucuses, we vote the right way, there's a process there. And so when you when you talk about a party doing that, I think a lot of people have false expectations of what the RNC should or shouldn't do. Uh, they kind of have to do what many people would consider the boring part of an organization. They have to make sure it runs. Yeah. And I think it really is incumbent on, you know, events like this, uh, our candidates, um, the CRs who do a great job, the young yeah, Republicans who are now mm -hmm. growing in a, in a very big way. So I, I think, you know, it's going to be people who are talking about ideas, people who can motivate folks, people who can get people to the polls. It's more individualistic, it's more candidate-driven than necessarily party-driven. All right, so Rents Priebus, is that his name correct? Rents Priebus. Rents Priebus. We're working on it. We're all working He's on it. He's telling everyone. Priebus. He repeats right. it over and over so everyone can finally And I'm trying to help him right. out. Right? right, yeah. He's the only guy in America who can make Saul Anusis an easy name. Exactly. I'm, I'm all you know? for it. Geez. So he's he's the new RNC right. chairman. Has some big shoes to, Absolutely. or not shoes to fill, but he has a big, big, job. big, big job, job to make up some of the debt that's going in. Right. So um, what would be your advice for him going well, forward? Uh, I know uh, he has your full support. Yeah, he's, so. a, he's a good friend of mine. Uh, he and I work together. He's a Wisconsin chairman. He's a very solid guy. Uh, you know, a rising star in his own right. I mean, he's 38 years old. A lot mm -hmm. of people forget the fact that right. he's one of the youngest chairmen we've ever had. Uh, he's very committed to uh, doing the things that are necessary. Uh, I've met with him now several times since he's been elected. Uh, he's spending hours every day on the phone calling all of our LAPS donors, LAPS fundraisers, mm -hmm. putting together a great finance team. Uh, because as you mentioned, our number one goal is to get rid of this debt and be ready to move forward. Um, he's reestablishing the presidential trust, which is kind of a trust within the RNC that will be used for the presidential campaign. It's very important for us to move forward. Uh, he's reaching out to bring all the candidates together who ran for RNC chairman as well as you know any faction, anybody who's willing to participate, uh, they want to bring in. Uh, they hired Jeff Larson, who's the new uh, chief of staff, very strong person who ran the last convention for us. So I think he's putting a good team together and, and uh, I'm looking forward to helping him out any way I can. Do you think it's going to take a billion dollars? Do you think Barack Obama will raise a billion dollars? I think he will. Not himself, but obviously through all the left of center groups. And yeah. I think that we as a you know, center right uh, organization are going to have to do the same thing. It's not all going to come from the RNC. I think realistically we're looking at raising about $400 million at the RNC. So probably 40% of that billion probably is going to come directly through the party. Uh, but obviously the third party groups are becoming more and more effective and more important for the process. Uh, you take a look at what the candidates will raise this time. I think we'll see many candidates raise record amounts. Uh, we've got some very strong candidates running with you know Mitt Romney, Newt Gingrich, Haley Barber, Puente. All of these guys have records of raising money. All of them have put together national organizations. 
we really have, I think there were 28 names as of yesterday being mentioned as potential presidentials. That's good for us. That's right. good for the movement, I think. How do you think that grassroots will help influence the RNC money-wise? Well, in a big way. You know, we had, I think, 66, let's see, what was it, uh, 66,000 new donors last year. I mean, this is a growing process. There are literally, you know, we raise $180 million on an average of $42 contributions at the RNC. Small donors, because of online campaigning, are becoming much more relevant. Uh, you take a look at what a guy like Ron Paul or Rand Paul were able to do. Much of it was online fundraising. A Sarah Palin success, again, motivating the grassroots to get onliners to come on and, and do something. So I think that you may, the, to me the biggest thing is it allows candidates who may not be wealthy in their own to step out and run for office. Uh, a lot of times the biggest challenge is, you know, people say, oh, it's a millionaire's club. Well, there's a reason for it. you got to take a year off of work. Most of us can't do that. Right. You also have to, yep. you know, see the campaign by writing at least a starter check. Mm -hmm. Most of us can't do that. Online fundraising, grassroots fundraising is a big part where people can actually say, look, I believe in this person, even though they may not be financially in the situation to do it on their own, and we want to support them. And I think that's what you're going to see changes as we do that better more quickly, we can raise more money faster than we've ever been able to do before. And that puts a lot of names on Absolutely. the table that Opens may up. not have been able to do that Absolutely. before. Absolutely. That's Great. probably the most important thing it does. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time. I Great really appreciate it. Great to be with you. It. Thank you very much. Yep.